Best sensitivity for keyboard and mouse for FPS games. Before I start, this video guide will apply to mostly every FPS game. There isn't a perfect sensitivity, but there are average sensitivities pros use in games. Pro players usually have consistent sensitivities, and it's good to look at the average range of their sensitivities, because that will likely work for most people. Again, if the average sensitivity doesn't work for you specifically, tweaking your sense to match your playstyle would make it better for you. Just try to stay in the range of what most pro players are using. You can just search up average pro sense for your game on Google and it would usually show a chart with the player sense and DPI. Remember, DPI matters and what you want to calculate is eDPI. And after you do that, try to get close to the eDPI while still adjusting your sensitivity to match your playstyle. Your sensitivity also depends on the game. There is a correlation between fast games with fast sensitivities and slow games with slow sensitivities. So Fortnite Pros average around 30 centimeters per 360. That's around 6.5 sensitivity with 800 DPI or 5200 eDPI. The average Valorant Pro sensitivity is around 50 meters per 360, which is about 40% slower than the average Fortnite sensitivity. This is because aiming and being precise is much more important than turning quickly, which is what is required when you want to build fast in Fortnite. Faster sensitivities are overall less precise but easier to move, while the opposite happens for low sensitivities. But not everyone has a large mouse pad and a light mouse to use low sensitivities. If you're part of this, you're basically forced to play with a higher sensitivity. I would buy a bigger mouse pad. You could get a $10 mouse pad that's like a full desk. It's a well worthwhile investment. And if you have a cheap mouse with a trash sensor that can't track slow sensitivities or a really heavy mouse, I also suggest upgrading your mouse. Buying something like a $25 mouse makes a world of difference. Also, if you have a slower sense, go with a lighter mouse. It helps especially on long sessions. I would even suggest light mouse with faster sensitivities as well because it's just that much more comfortable for long game sessions. A lot of YouTube channels say to try to make a full 360 with your mouse pad and that will get you the best sensitivity. That is just simply not true. Just because you have a smaller mouse pad doesn't mean that a slower sensitivity is better for you. Go back to what I said before and try to start with the average pro eDPI and adjust for your personal preference. This is also another thing many YouTubers get wrong. Sensitivity is not only personal preference. Having a super low or super high sensitivity because it's quote unquote personal preference is just not going to work well for you. I wouldn't recommend going half more or half less the average pro sensitivity. That way, you can adjust for your mousepad space, how fast or slow you want it to be, and if you're a wrist or arm aimer. Another tip to stay consistent is to not adjust your sensitivity too much or use different sensitivities in different games. This would give you less time to adjust and ruin the whole point of trying to find a new sensitivity. And then you just switch to another one thinking it's better because you won one match with it. I suggest using a specific sensitivity for at least two weeks. If it doesn't fit you, change it little by little. Playing other games with different sensitivities won't help either. If they are different genres, like for example you play League with a different sensitivity as Valorant, it doesn't really matter. But if you play Fortnite with a sense and then Valorant with a different sense, that would ruin your aim if you switch between the games very frequently. So in conclusion, look at the pro sensitivities for your game and, and adjust your sensitivity around that number. Take into consideration your mouse and mousepad space and don't adjust your sense too much.